What's up guys? Today we're going to make liquid aluminum from soda pop cans. I've got my buddy Eric with me today to help me with the process. First we laid charcoal briquettes along the bottom of the foundry. We filled it about halfway so that our crucible could sit nicely inside, yet get the most heat possible. Next we sprayed some flammable liquid onto the briquettes so they could heat up a bit faster. We throw in a match and just like that we have instant flame. After letting the charcoal heat up, we turned on our air supply and started cooking. At first the process was a little slow, we could melt about 5-7 to seven cans per minute. But once we had a good amount of molten aluminum in the bottom, we could melt 10-15 to 15 cans per minute. Now that we have a good amount of liquid aluminum in our crucible, it's time to make some aluminum ingots. Using a muffin tin that we found at the thrift store for a buck, we made some awesome little aluminum muffins. After letting them cool for a couple minutes, we tap out the muffins so that we can dip them in a cold bucket of water. You can tell that these metal muffins are still blistering hot because they sizzle as they come into contact with the water. As you can see, we've made a good amount of aluminum ingots, but they're still a little rough looking. I want to get that shiny silvery look that you get when you buy aluminum from the department store. I grab some steel wool and start scrubbing the ingots. After a couple of minutes scrubbing each ingot, we get that nice shiny look. Now the ingots are ready to be melted down and made into something else. Help me decide what to make by commenting below.